up guys welcome back to reject films today we're going to be taking a look at the arrow video release of reanimator the limited edition and here's the front of the hard box and the spine and you have the bottom uh, specs of it and then the back of it here you got a brief synopsis of the film. One thing I wanted to point out was their misprint. Where is it? Um, it some becomes clear that West entertained some seriously outlandish theories. Yeah, that kind of doesn't make sense. But uh, that was pointed out by some people on Facebook group that, you know, they need to do some proofreading. But, um, you know, things happen. Whatever. Uh, I mean, most of you guys know what this film is and everything. So I'm not going to reread this or anything. But uh, a couple things I wanted to point out was the uh, 4K restorations of the unrated and integral versions. High definition, 1080p presentation. And uh, go ahead and pause if you want to read the rest of the features. We'll move on to the uh, menu screens here in a little bit. But you have the unrated version at 86 minutes and the integral version available in the U.S. for the first time at 105 minutes so really excited to check out that version you know I've only seen the unrated version so and then you get the reanimator comic limited edition exclusive it's a 92 page booklet containing reanimator the original 91 comic book adaptation of the movie reprinted in its entirety so take a look at that I'll show you as much as I can of it just a few images there is you know nudity and stuff in here but uh yeah this is the reanimator death is just the beginning whoa 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 gotta make sure i don't show nothing uh yeah never did read the comic or anything so i know towards the back there's some images that Ninety-two page comic book, pretty cool. And then we have the actual digi book design packaging here. On the front, you have Figure One Reagent. And then inside, you have some lobby cards, uh, reproduction lobby cards. I believe it's four. are all the same. There's just the reagent. Then you have a little booklet as well with some images and I believe it's an all new uh, writing on the film. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. Then you have the HP Lovecraft's Reanimator, filmed by Stuart Gordon. <clears throat> and the disc, the unrated. This one was kind of hard to get out for some reason. You have, you know, Jeffrey Combs. This one was easier. Uh, Bruce Abbott and Barbara Crampton were on this side. The only thing I will say is it's kind of starting to come apart already in this corner. But uh, yeah, really, really cool set. You know, Arrow always delivers top notch products. And I did order this from Diabolic DVD, which came inside of. This mailer and then this box was inside that mailer, and then inside of this mailer 
that was inside the box was the film. So, yeah. Awesome, awesome packaging from Diabolic, as always. So, yeah, really, really cool set. Very happy to have this. And this is available on August 8th. I believe it got pushed back. It was originally already supposed to be rele released. And I know some people got it earlier than I did. But, um, yeah, I guess the official release is August 8th. So, let's move over to the TV and take a look at uh, these menus. Alright, we back to the menu screen here. Um, yeah, we have play film, scene select, special features, and setup with a nice animated menu back there. Pretty cool. So going to special features here. You have reanimator, resurrects. Which is a feature length documentary on the making of the film. Then you have interviews. Um, director Stuart Gordon and producer Brian Usna. Yes, no? uh, writer Dennis Hop. I, I'm not, I don't even know that last name. Composer Richard Band and Fangoria editor Tony Tapone. So terrible with names. I really got to do this on something other than the Xbox. And then you have a music discussion with composer Richard Band, which goes straight to that. And then you have Barbara Crampton in conversation. The reanimator star sits down with journalist Alan Jones for this career spanning interview at the 2015 Fright Fest Festival in London. You have the catastrophe of success, which is Director Stuart Gordon discusses his early theater roots and his continued commitment to the stage. We have Theater of Blood, Reanimator, the musical lyricist Mark Nutter on adapting the cult classic for musical theater. That'd be pretty cool to see the musical. And audio commentaries, audio commentary with Stuart Gordon and audio commentary with the cast and crew, audio commentary with Stuart Gordon, Graham Skipper, and Jesse Merlin. And then you have, yeah, extended scenes, which goes straight to that, deleted scene, multi-angle storyboards, trailer, TV spots, and a still gallery. So lots of features on here. Really excited to check out those. And a uh, really cool looking menu. So let's go on to disc two. This was disc one for the uh, unrated one. And there's not as many features on the next one. So let's move on to that. All right, moving on to the integral version, which I'm really excited to check this out. I mean, I've seen the original version a few times and really enjoy this movie a lot it's got great gore to it and I mean the story is decent and just you know Barbara Crampton's just absolutely stunning in this film and uh yeah so hopefully I get time to sit down and check this out and all the features and everything here soon same thing you got play film scene select special features set up which set up just subtitles and stuff. Um, the special features on here, you have a guide to Lovecraftian cinema and Doug Bradley's Spine Chillers, Herbert West's Reanimator. So that's all you have on here for special features. I'm curious to know what that Doug Bradley Spine Chillers thing is. Hmm. That sounds pretty interesting. Yep, that's it for features. There's so many on the first one that I'm going to click on this just to see. Wow. So you got actor Jeffrey Combs reads, reads H.P. Lovecraft's original classic short story. The cover art will fade out after one minute to protect your screen. So it's just uh, him reading. There's not going to be any imagery. And he reads... 
from the dark, the plague. I guess that's a demon. I don't know. The sex shots by moonlight, the screams of the dead, the horror from the shadows, and the tomb legions. Huh. I have no idea what that is. So, pretty uh, in interesting to check that out. Interested to check that out. I'm learning how to talk one day. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. So there you go guys, there is the menu screens for the Reanimator Limited Edition set from Aero Video. Again, available August 8th. And uh, let me know down below what you guys think of this film, if you guys enjoy this uh, film or not. And how well you think it holds up. I think it holds up pretty well, um, even by today's standards. It's got everything you could ask for in a horror film, uh, horror comedy. Um, I mean, you got the nudity, you got the gore, you got the... You know, it just has everything in this film. So, yeah. Alright, thank you for watching, guys. And I'll see you on the next video. Let me know if there's any releases coming up um, that I may not know about that you would like to see an unboxing and menu screens for. Um, I mean, I usually do them for the Vestrons and the new, uh, you know, more popular screen factories and things like this. But uh, if there's anything else out there, you know, that you guys would like to see a video on, Definitely let me know, and I'll make it happen. Alright, until next time, take care. See ya, bye.